I'm like this, like, yeah, 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 <laughs> that's a, that's a, definitely a Friday's with Bernie's TV show. Well, here we go. Alright, so I'll be now. So I gotta take my grandma to the grocery store. We're gonna go here. We're gonna buy lots of food, um, food and stuff. Here's the grocery store. Yeah. I am so dang mad right now. I can't find the chicken that I want. I can't find the sausage that I want. I can't find anything that I want. Oh, because this is not my store. And he said, come with me. He's not even anywhere to be found. I knew that this was going to be a hassle with her because she's always, she's always like telling me where to go and everything. And I know everything's in this store, so I thought I'd be helping her. I knew this was a colossal bad idea. I just knew it. I knew it. I knew it. This sure is. My name is Bernice. There's somebody coming. I'm going to be real quiet for a minute because she was, she was, she was walking alongside me a while ago. I was like, who are you? She tried to say hi to me. I thought she was trying to get my purse. I don't know about this place. And then, well, I'll tell you about the woman and the chicken in a minute, because that's just a whole other story. That is almost a Tuesday with Bernie's story. So I knew this was going to be a great idea. I like the one that goes shopping with me, because she, um, she likes to ride around in one of those carts. So I, I do it too, because I feel like I'm helping her. I am helping her. Here. I'm not with so I was just in the ice cream section and I had, I mean, I'm driving one of these carts because I don't like to walk around in the store like this because people might recognize me. So the cart makes me feel a little bit more incognito. But I was just up at this ice cream thing and, looking, and this man just came up and grabbed the, the door and he pulled it to, all the way to my cart like he was trying to tell me to get out of the way. So I just looked at him and I said, yeah, sure, I'm done looking. Have you seen my granny? 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 People hate this. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's the all sorts of real. I can't find Spud. I might be mad as hell at him all the time, but I don't want to lose him at the grocery store. If I'm going to lose him, I'm going to lose him somewhere good, like an amusement park. I know some of y'all get that. Where's my granny? 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 You see my granny? You see my granny? You see my granny? No? Spud! 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 You seen Spud? Have you seen Spud? Have you seen Spud? Spud, get, get out of my way. Have you seen Spud? Now get out of my way. I know what I'll do. I'll play a game that my friend Kenny, his mom used to play all the time. Hang on. Marco! Polo! Marco! It's so bright here. He's close by. Well, I know Granny's close by, and we had a backup plan. And if I couldn't find her, I'd look over by the can openers and the dish rags, because she buys one every time she goes to the store. She's got like 700 of them. That's a lot of dish rags. But somehow we did it. We got back in the car. It's so fun finding you, though. I couldn't find you at first, and I thought, well, if he's not over in the, uh, toys we had that section marked, marked side you know side for ourselves as a plan b to meet by the can openers and the towels so here's the only problem this store only sells can openers but they sell towels too but they're not part of the store they're like from a bikini shop or something so it was very very confusing i might have tried on a bikini that's what took me so long i'm sorry but Granny, it's always good to see you in bikini. You remember, remember that time that we, we snuck over to that apartment complex and we got in their pool? And you was wearing a bikini and fell apart and they called the police? That's what that always reminds me of. Wait a minute, Granny, look, wait. Oh, there he is. There he is. My cute little spoon. Wait a minute. I'm talking to myself again, all right? It's off. It's off the bright out here. Oh, shit. I hope Spud, you remember the funniest things. You are so <laughs> Yeah, I remember that day really, really, really well. It cost me $750 to get out of the pokey. 
That's okay. That's what Bam Family is all about, and that's what we do. But Spud, it's been so long since we've seen you. Where have you been? Well, now that you asked where I've been, I'll go ahead and tell you. I haven't been around very much because I, I wanted somebody in our family to say they went to school. So I went to school to get my fed, to fede, my fede, my fede, push. Uh, I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor of spudology love. They, I, I, I did go to school. I did go to school. I did go to the school. They just asked me to leave almost like the day I got there. It's right right here. I almost forgot to tell you, thank you so very much for turn, tuning in. <coughs> K2. K2. I almost forgot to tell you, thank you very much for tuning in to today's Thursdays with Bernice. Now, tomorrow, on a very, very special Fridays with Bernice, we're going to have a very Friday topic. But I'm not going to tell you about what it is today. You just go down and turn in and see. But I will tell you one thing. It has something to do with food getting stolen from you at Taco Bell. I know you want to hear about that, don't you? I'll see you then. Bye now. We done yet? We done? Are we done here? I mean, whoops. Don't show that to any sponsors. <laughs>